Today we're going to be hunting with one of the most difficult rifles to hunt for big game in Call of the Wild on Africa. I'm talking about the 9.3 break action drilling rifle. Now the thing that makes this so difficult is that it only gets one shot. That means that shot better be perfect. We got a whole pack of jackals out here and we actually want to try and take a shot just to be able to get sighted in. The reason we need to get sighted in is because we can only zero in for 160 yards. So this rifle is plenty big enough to take down big game, but it only zeroes in for 160. So you really can't take very far shots with it. And not only that, you only get one shot. So every shot needs to be absolutely perfect. So anyways, right now, we're going to try and see if we can't figure out how to be able to take a 250-yard shot. And I think we're going to take down this one right there. 250 yards. This scope zeroes in, or I should say it zooms in a little bit, but not a lot. So you got to try and compensate exactly how much that drop is going to be. And honestly, I really don't know. As you can see, that shot there was a hit. All right, so we took the shot right here. Definitely not a very good shot. No organs hit, as a matter of fact. But it did go down over here somewhere. All right, here's our jackal. Let's find out how we hit. And our shot actually was a little bit high. So yeah, we were holding for right about here. And I'm thinking 250, all we got to do is hold for kind of mid-lung. I mean, on a jackal, obviously, that's way different. If we would have just held for top shoulder, probably would have dropped in and hit right here. But if we're talking Cape Buffalo, probably just mid-lung for 250, and we should be good. Holy did we find the buffalo. Look at all of them out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And I believe that should be a nice seven. Yes, it is a big old level seven out there. 350 yards out now we can only take a 250 yard shot we're not going to be taking a shot further than that just because we don't really know what the penetration is like and the accuracy at more than 250 yards so we're going to try and get closer and make one perfect vital shot he's actually angled a little bit more towards us than what i would like but i'm thinking as we get closer he may just shift over a little bit more. All right, well, as we're approaching the 280 yard mark here, it looks like he actually squared up a little bit more broadside. So we could kind of hold for that low lung potential heart shot on that Cape Buffalo there. Now remember, we're still gonna have a good six to eight inches of drop here. So we're gonna have to hold for mid to upper lung to be able to compensate for that drop. I would love to be able to see if we could drop in there and catch heart though. I really, really would. All right, so we're looking at 240 right there, and that's a decent angle for the shot. In fact, that could be perfect right there. 220 yards. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Oh, we would have went for it, but then he turned. It's still a pretty good angle for a shot there. But the sun just went down, and it's kind of hard to see to take that shot right now. So we're going to be patient and hold off just a little bit longer. All right, well, it appears the sun came back out, and now we're going to get ready for the shot. <laughs> oh, can you say heart shot? Whew. So we basically held it right on top of the heart. I figured we'd have a little bit of drop. And wow, honestly, that was perfect. We are getting attacked by a Cape Buffalo as well here. And we are going to have to put a nice neck shot onto her and drop her as well. Holy. What an epic heart shot. What an epic heart shot. All right, got a neck, spine, and lung shot on her. There he is, piled up right over there, as a matter of fact. Nice Cape Buffalo down with a perfect heart shot. I mean, from the angle that we had, that's literally all we could hit. And we ended up getting a double lung heart shot. Wow. Talk about spot on perfect shot placement 
237 yards. Dead center heart. Double lung shot. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. This is rarely going to happen to where we're going to get a perfect drop shot on big game like this out in Africa. That right there is like a probably 1 in 10 shot kind of thing. So don't get your hopes up for seeing this every time. I'll tell you that. But yeah, that was something special. It really was. All right, I was kind of hoping we might get lucky enough to catch eyes on some lion over here. But then we found another massive herd of Cape Buffalo. Oh, a big mythical. Which one is he? Is that him? Oh, that's him. That's him right there. Okay. I was like, where in the heck did our mythical go? So that's him out there, about 315. Now, we'll go for a 250-yard shot again. We could actually go for a 300-yard shot, and I think we might do that. We'll have a good bit of drop, but for 300, if we hold right for spine, it should be pretty much perfect. All right. Oh, <laughs> What the f Dude, that buffalo just ran over there and piled up. So, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but... Am I even recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Um, so that buffalo tried to attack us before, and I shot at it with the recurve in the 540s. And we didn't get a vital hit, so I didn't think it was actually going to go down. But maybe the shot on the run hit it from behind, and we might have gotten intestine. So that took him down. Obviously, he just piled up over there. Anyways, let's go for a shot here. 300 yards on this big mythical... Cape Buffalo. Oh, that looked good. It definitely had some pretty good drop to it there. And it looked good. It was. He's going down to 50% health. And he's not going to go too far. All right. So now we know we can take a 300-yard shot by holding right for the spine on a Cape Buffalo. Oh, there's the line we were looking for. There he is right there, 250. Now remember, top of the lung. That's what we got to do. Top of the lung. That might have been a little bit too high. I'll be honest. Yep, that's a spine shot. We got him right in the vertebrae. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, whatever we hit. We definitely hit a lot better that time. I'll tell you that. All right. Something tells me we're about to figure out where we hit. Right... Oh my god, it was a right lung shot. So, we were high, but we actually weren't even that high. We were just a little bit far forward there. The second shot actually caught heart. Double lung heart shot at 250 yards. Wow, so we didn't have hardly any drop there. Alright, well, we'll figure that out in a second. But here is our female Cape Buffalo. That we ended up getting... Oh, we did get him on the run in the intestine. No freaking way. I took a shot in the grass as it was running away from us. And we pulled off a Texas heart shot with a 540s there. She literally ran, I don't know, like 450 yards and then fell over right in front of our herd of buffalo. Especially the one that had our mythical in it as well. All right, we got some more buffalo out here. <gasps> Holy, we got buffalo right on top of us. Right on top of us. Oh my god, that's probably a 9 legendary. Oh, I told you! It's a freaking 9 legendary! No way! Unbelievable! A giant, dime potential Cape Buffalo is less than 100 yards away. And all we have is a grueling rifle. I could tell by the curls of the horns on that thing that he was probably going to be a 9. Big 7 there. Oh, our 9's up, our 9's up. He just got up right there. Now, we could potentially go for a Texas heart shot. But it is extremely, extremely risky. So we're probably going to hold off on that. And what I still can't figure out is where our mythical went. I mean, we got blood right here. Looks like he actually ran down there, maybe. So he probably piled up just on the backside of this brush over there. Maybe towards that herd of Cape Buffalo. But nonetheless, let's try and get a nice shot on this big nine right here. Boy, that's going to be tough, but that could definitely work. The 9.3 has a ton of penetration, and that angle there could work. We could actually catch heart. We're going to go for it. 120 yards. 
Boy, I felt confident about that. Oh my god, we got him. No freaking way. He's down to 25%. Dude, that thing is massive. I bet that's a diamond. I honestly bet that's a diamond. Oh, run, 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 run. The worst thing is I don't have any slugs loaded in here at this point. Tried for a neck shot there, but clearly that did not happen. Boy, where's the 470 when you need it, you know? Okay. Okay, that should have been neck. Well, that was a miss. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Trying to hunt the biggest game with the weakest rifle in the game for the biggest game. Ethically. And there's nothing we can do at this point. I don't even have time to switch back to... Okay, he's falling over. That was a miss. All right, come on, headshot. Wow. That was not a neck shot, you're telling me. You're really gonna sit there and tell me that, huh? <laughs> well, that just happened. All right. So let's get these buffalo, then we'll find that mythical and our nine legendary. Literally hit this thing how many times? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Did not get any penetration at all. And we hit center lung there. Yeah, you really got to take a perfect angle to get penetration. Ooh, just missed the neck bone. All right. Let's find our mythical. There's one piled up right here. That may be him. Or it could be our nine. I don't think that's our nine. No, that's our mythical. That's our mythical. And our shot was 300 yards. We we're holding right for the spine right here. And we got about eight inches of drop. But we pretty much hit dead center lung there. And a 139 mythical. You can see pretty decent penetration for the angle that we had there. And now let's get down here and find that nine legendary. I don't remember exactly where it was, I think. Oh, it's literally piled up right there. Look at, wow, look at that horn curl. Holy, that's a massive buffalo. That is definitely our biggest buffalo that we've seen here in a long time. Well, let's take a look at it and find out just how big it really is. It's going to be a diamond. 155 diamond. Got a left lung shot quartering directly away from us. And that shot was absolutely perfect. Going straight for the heart. Look at that. If you look closely there, you can see the angle that we had was going right at the heart. And from the angle that we had, you know, that actually worked pretty much perfectly. Like, if I had to take that exact same shot, I don't think I would do anything different. You want to hit low lung? because that's where you're gonna get the most penetration. I mean, maybe we could have dropped, you know, another half inch or an inch or so, and that probably wouldn't have hurt much either, but overall, it was a perfect shot. And there we have it. A huge diamond Cape Buffalo with a 9.3. Oh, look at this. Nice bull kudu, nice bull kudu. Right there, he's bedded 100 yards out from us. Now, we can't actually use the 9.3 but we can use the Grillic rifle. We just have to throw in the 16 gauge slugs into this thing. And then, okay, actually there's some kind of bug now. So what we have to do, it's kind of confusing, but you'll understand what I'm talking about in one second. So basically we have to either use the 9.3 bullets or the 16 gauge slugs. You can't use both like you're supposed to be able to. So if we just do this, then we'll throw on our scope then we can take down this kudu there we go all right we're looking at about 100 yards out we'll zero in for 80 and with that angle there that should take him down yes it will yes it will there we go cool so we took down a nice bull kudu with the grilling rifle as well oh hold up what do we got out here now 
Those may be the same. No, that's actually a different herd. There's a male out there. I saw something else cutting left over here too. I wanted to get a, a better look at it, but I don't know where it went. All right, let's try this shot. 400 yards. That's as far as we can get. Now, I don't have high hopes for this, but I know it is possible. So I'm thinking we'll hold for spying. Oh boy, that looked good. Oh, that looked good. But I am not seeing the percentage drop, so I'm not sure if we actually got him or not. Hold up, they're all coming back. Well, there's a six there and there's a female there. The seven should be with him. He should be coming back. There's no hunting pressure, so. Well, let's actually try for the six. 430 yards. Wow, now that is a long ways. I think we just smoked that thing. We hit dead center shoulder blade. We did. 430 yards. We just connected on that Cape Buffalo. I'm kind of blown away at that. So that means I bet we probably shot high at 400 and hit that one right in the vertebrae. Probably. Wait a second. But there's no hunting pressure. That's odd. Oh, now there is. Okay. So yeah, I bet we probably hit the other one in the vertebrae. And I don't think that shot's going to take it down. Intestine stomach shot. So the angle that we had there, we hit him a little bit too far back. Still did take him down. 125, so he wasn't big enough to be a gold. But we did in fact take him down with the 20 gauge slugs. Actually, the 16 gauge slugs. All right, let's go down here now and see if we can't find that Cape Buffalo that we hit at over 430 yards with the 9.3. Because, man, I really want to find out. All right, he was standing right about here, and there he was right there. That's a vital hit, and that is not a vital hit. That is actually where we shot the first one. And I'm sure we got him right in the spine. If you guys want to see where we've been hunting today, I'll show you right now. We actually started way the heck over here at the Tingwani area. We started at this lodge here, the Cool Rila Outpost. And we hunted straight through all the way up into these uh, hills here. And we went straight around this way. And we hunted just like this right here. So basically from here to here is absolutely loaded with Cape Buffalo. And you can see just a little path that we went through here all the way along this valley here. It's just an excellent spot for Cape Buffalo. All right. We found him down right over here. There we go. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 424 yard left lung shoulder blade shot. Now, to be able to go through that shoulder at 400 yards and still get lung is pretty incredible. It really is. Like, even the 300 Magnum at that distance, I don't even know if you could do that same thing. That's quite impressive. Nonetheless, you can see it will take down the biggest game in africa oh there we go a nice big old level seven lion out there this guy is quite a ways out there but i know we can definitely take a 350 yard shot as you saw we took the cape buffalo at 430 yards and we basically just held where did we hold i think we held like above the shoulder okay now i'm starting to second guess myself here I do believe, though, if we hold right for the spine, that should be perfect, to be honest. 350 yards, that should be perfect. Well, it better be, because we only get one shot to make this happen. Boy, that looked good. Actually, should have probably been liver, to be honest. Yes, it was good. It was a great, great shot. And he's going down right there. 
Now, there's some kind of bug where the lion don't actually run off and they just sit there until they fall over which is interesting but it is what it is you know nonetheless we made a heck of an epic shot 360 yards on a lion all right let's find out how we did here this should be a nice level seven and it's gonna be unbelievable a double lung shot at 357 yards and we actually dropped right below the heart wow we were holding for right here and we got way more drop than what i thought was going to happen wow that's a ton of drop but still an incredible double lung shot at 360 yards it's gonna be a 45.79 and he weighed 509 pounds but there you have it a big old level seven male lion taken down with one of the most difficult rifles to hunt with big game in africa the 9.3 but that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time oh right there right there we just got eyes on a nice seven cutting across a nice seven he's stopping out there at 300 yards out he's pretty broadside yeah we definitely should have taken that shot oh it's all right it's all right it's all right if this thing would just move Oh my god, it looked good. It looked good. We hit him a little far back. It was not good. I repeat, it was not good. Reload, reload, reload. It's alright. We're gonna get a follow-up though. He's coming full speed ahead right towards us. The question is, who is gonna win? Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'll let him get as close as possible.